The first website is Quillbot and it's a free paraphrasing tool. I can paste any sentence here and click paraphrase. Now look, it made it completely unrecognizable. One trick is to increase the level of synonyms or click on any word to change it if you don't like it. What's special is that if possible, the website spins sentences around so they're completely different from the starting one. This comes in handy especially when I need to rephrase sentences to avoid plagiarism in school or university or simply say something basic in a more interesting language to appear more intelligent. And so by the end of this video, you'll know seven more underrated websites that'll put you way above the average person. And I must warn you, if you watch the whole thing, your friends will start asking how the hell are you able to do the things that these websites allow you to do. With that said, the second site is Unroll Me. If I find that my email inbox is full of random ads and unnecessary subscriptions, then I can use this website to bulk unsubscribe from all of them. And it's free. There's also a feature called Rollup, which adds existing email subscriptions into a single email. So I just receive one instead of many scattered emails. I have no idea how they do that. Next up is Monkey Type. And here I improve my typing speed by doing typing tests. This is hands down one of the most overlooked skills when using a computer. If you practice every day, you can go from something like 40 to 100 words per minute. It's just a skill that transfers very well to other aspects of my digital life and this website simply lets me train it. Now if you're someone who has trouble holding focus in one place, then the Focus To Do is a powerful and very well designed productivity timer. It has apps for Android, iOS, a browser extension so I can access it anywhere. The best part is that I can create a project that I'm working on, then create specific tasks that I need to complete for that project and set a rough estimate of time it's going to take. Then I just go task by task and work on each one until the timer ends. This way of working on something is extremely productive and I often find that I chew through projects very quickly when I split it up into small, manageable tasks and then tackle each one with a timer. Now, smart people know that the best investment that compounds over time is in yourself, your knowledge and your skills. And I found that the best way to learn is from someone else that has already been through a specific problem that I have right now. So the next website is, well, any online learning platform like Skillshare or Coursera. Here, people share solutions to problems problems that they've overcome in hundreds, sometimes thousands of hours, and they just tell me what to do to avoid their mistakes. Think about it. It's hands down the best way to learn a new skill and compound your knowledge because the information is already there and these course creators have taken that info and condensed it into one single place for me to take. And it's mostly free, or many of these sites like Skillshare have a free one month trial so I can just just take it and learn as much as I can for free. Now the next one is crazy. It's called Otter and at first glance it's just a transcription app. But oh boy can it do much more than that. It's an absolute lifesaver for anyone who's ever been tasked with transcribing interviews, events or meetings. This app just plugs into your Zoom meeting and transcribes everything for you. It also records and takes notes for everyone so that you can fully engage in the conversation. Moving over to a website called Human Benchmark and it lets me test out my abilities like memory, reaction time or typing speed. It has a chimp test that compares me to a chimpanzee and just lets me understand how limited the human brain actually is. After every test you get to see where you fall in the spectrum of other people that have already done these tests before on the website. And finally I left a hidden video with 15 more useful websites in the pinned comment. Go check it out.